Well, I guess we're back on the Jacob and Esau train for today, trying to go for Boss Rush and or Shoal. Your seed, by the way, is going to be XK2M0AJW. This is one of the, the last unlocks I can think for us to get right now. I don't... Have we killed Mom's Heart ten times? I feel like we've had to kill Mom's Heart ten times already. It, it's been quite a few runs of this randomizer so far. Uh, if we don't get, like, the, the Eden or the Blue Baby unlock through that, I don't know what more we can do before uh, we unlock, like, more characters or different paths. We're running out of unlocks to do here. And, oh, Seed, by the way, is uh, XK2M0AJW. If I didn't say that already, I might have. I forget. Uh, we're getting close to the, the breaking point of having to go through the Isaac, like, statistics page <clears throat> and find out in specific which like unlocks we're missing or what we even can do with uh oh my god this jump dude uh, with so little unlocked i think it might come down to to greed mode or greedier mode honestly which is scary because uh greedier mode is not really my favorite thing in the world so i'm sure a lot of you uh can agree with me on it's, it's really not that okay no secret room there, by the way. Learned that fact today. Uh, it really is like... It's getting close. I'm not going to try to fearmonger the, the randomizer being stuck for a bit, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous to have to start grinding out greed mode as like our regular runs until we find something new to unlock. Maybe the mom's heart unlock will give us uh, a different path, or maybe... We can start going to Hush soon and get Hush unlocks through that, like, way, but I don't know. Again, it's all going to come down to, like, what are we willing to do before we start giving up and checking out our stats page? Because there is logic in this randomizer. Nothing is going to be un un unlockable. It's, it's all going to be there, right? I just don't want to have the rest of our runs. My, my, my cat stealth her way up. On top of my computer tower. Talk. Oh, God. My headphone cord. What do you want to say to them? You want to bite me? The face of a killer. A cold-blooded killer. Get off my desk and go get a job. If you start paying rent, you can go wherever you want in this house. But I'm not letting you on top of my computer if you're just going to freeload off me the rest of the time. That's a pretty good item to get. We can go back and buy the, uh, whatever the hell we had in our shop. I think it was starter deck. That's actually not that bad. Dude, all right, next time I'm getting the spray bottle. You see that? Right from the behind, jumps up there. No regard for human life. Hey, don't bite me, don't bite me. I'm losing it. One of these days, you'll learn respect for me. Not the greatest one to have happen. Now she's on top of my keyboard, and this is the worst. You interrupt my recording sessions. I'm just trying to work. She's violent. Who raised you? I know the answer to that question. Go. Oh, off. Down. Go play with the other cat. I'm honestly considering... This is going to be a, a bad thing to do, but I'm honestly considering getting a third cat just so she's biting my ankle. Just so she leaves me alone during the day. I, I can't do this anymore, man. It's constant with her. I played with... She was panting. I... You're biting my ankles. I will pour my water on you. I have no regard for this anymore. Spray bottles uh, not f fill right now. We had to spray her so much, we used an entire spray bottle of water. Like, I, we're going to be getting a third cat just to combat her need of... Okay, you know what? I'm pouring some water on you. Yeah. Yeah. Not so fun. Go shake it off behind me. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm a, I'm a broken man right now. All right? I'm a broken man. We should get a third cat. So she can bother something else. Because Beauty hates playing with her. Beauty hates it. Because Zimmy jumps on her, she bites her, attacks her, scares the shit out of her. Like, it's not fun for Beauty. Another kitty, though, that maybe is not as as egregious as Zimmy is, jumping on top of everything in the house, biting us, whatever it may be, that might be able to, to calm her down sometimes. Again, it may be a really stupid idea, right? Because that cat can end up being just as bad as Zimmy, or they cannot get along, and then now we have even more feuds going on in the house. But I don't know what else to do. I'm, I'm, I'm out of options. We've we've sprayed her. We've clapped our hands real loud. We've, you know, shaken jars of coins, so which scares her off the TV stand. We bought, like, anti-climb or anti-scratch spray 
it's supposed to like push them away from wanting to uh, uh, jump on top of certain things or or uh, scratch certain things. We bought that. She started eating that, licking the the spray that cats are supposed to hate. It it smells like sour lemon. What are you eating? Why would you do that? It's it's ridiculous. This cat is unfazed by anything. It's ridiculous. Uh, speed does not matter who gets it. I guess we can walk in here. <clears throat> Sulfur. And money equals power. Uh, alright. Beautiful. And then we can just walk out. I'm not gonna go for Sulfur, because if we hit the spike on our walkout, we will die as the other character here. So I'm fine just getting money equals power, getting Devil Deal precedence for going to Shoal. And, uh, a little bit of extra damage along the way as well. <clears throat> I know you guys are probably, at this point, tired of hearing me talk about Zimmy. <clears throat> Excuse me, or complain about Zimmy. But it's my entire life. My, my schedule right now is I wake up, I feed the cats, I go for a run, I come back and shower. And then it's time to take care of Zimmy for the next, you know, however many hours straight. Usually what it comes down to is I'll sit down to edit a video or, you know, do whatever in the morning... And I'll have to get up. You know what, dude? Sure. I'll have to get up just about every one minute and take her off of the top of our TV. Because our TV is not, like, bolted down. It's just on top of a TV stand, right? So her jumping up there could knock it over, could break the TV, or even worse, hurt her. So I got to get up, take her off the TV stand a couple times until she gets mad at me and starts biting me. Then I, then I either put her away... Uh, in the bedroom. I'll put a blanket over her so she can't, like, get out because she for, she likes playing underneath the blankets for some reason. So I'll put a blanket over her so she's distracted for a bit. Then if she comes back out again and starts bothering me, what I'll do is I'll play with her for about 20 minutes straight. I'll run around the house with string or, or a toy or a laser thing, and I will tire her out to the point where she can't walk anymore. She'll be panting, and she, she can't move. That's how much I play with this cat. And not even 10 minutes later, she will walk over to me and start biting me. I don't get it. <clears throat> I, I really don't understand what else I can do here. I, I've tried my hardest. I've, I've put my, my whole bussy into taking care of this cat. Uh, but it's it's almost, from for working from home, it's almost too much. Like, I spend more time nowadays taking care or watching over Zimmy than I do getting my work done. Uh, and it's, it's getting to a point where it's like, I can't take it anymore. I can't keep sacrificing, like, my, you know, I, I get, like, no work done nowadays. That's so why I gotta edit, like, three videos before I leave for vacation in, like, three days. Because I'm constantly stopping my work to take care of Zimmy. Or to watch Zimmy. Or to yell at Zimmy. Or to put away Zimmy. My entire life is just taking care of Zimmy. I should give the, the fork to my other man. And I'm, I'm, again, at a point where it's like, well... I might just start putting you in the kennel, or I might just start locking you in the bedroom when I'm working. Because I, I... It's affecting my quality of life, which will also in turn affect your quality of life. Because then, if I'm, you know, making less money, you're getting less treats and you're getting less food. So, she's only hurting herself by bothering me. And beauty, I guess. But, I've never seen a cat this energetic. Like, I'll... I'll going from panting to rest for like 10 minutes and she's up and at him. And then she'll sleep for, like, four hours straight around, like, 3 p.m. to, well, it's like an hour, two hours. Like, three to five, she'll sleep. The second that dinner is done, uh, she will find every way she can to bother us. What I mean by that is the second we get dinner done and we're sitting out here right behind me on the couch eating and watching TV, she'll decide I want to jump right in front of the TV and put my claws on top of it so I can block pretty much as much of that screen as possible. Uh, and that, that's her idea. Don't jump. You are a fool and you get hit by a foot because you suck balls. That's her idea of, of look at me, guys, blocking the show we're trying to watch or knocking the TV on top of herself or whatever it may be. Again, I'm, I'm losing it. That's speed and range. We can go range for Soy Milk Man. And then um, we'll go grab the Strength card. And I think we're good just to move on down. Probably not going to make him boss rush this run. I'll tell you that much. I don't think that'll happen, but wait, what's our time? Hey, you know, it it's not out of the question. We're, we're on good pace for it, but 
Uh, strength card's good for... If we can get double strength, I mean, that would be like having magic mush on both characters, and that would be enough to take down Boss Rush. Should have gone back and grabbed the, the other strength card and planned for the future, but I was being stupid. Uh, no surprise there. Distracted yelling at my cat. And I don't mind her being, like, on top of my computer tower. I don't mind that at all. Problem is, occasionally, she'll put her paw right on top of the power button, which will then turn off my computer, and because I record in the MP4 format, if the computer turns off, whatever I was recording there is corrupted. So, now you see where the big issue lies. An original process for calming her down was just, we can wait it out. We can deal with an energetic cat for a couple months. When she's old enough, we can go get her spayed. And usually spaying a cat will decrease their aggressiveness. And it did. You know what? How does this work? Oh, really weirdly. It just gave us like a lot of range and that was it. Usually spaying a cat will decrease their aggressiveness. Uh, and for the first week, it did because she had a cone on, and she was trying to be nice to us because we'd take the cone off. A lot of cats will know, like, hey, if I'm nice to my owners <clears throat> and they see that I'm suffering, I can maybe then get my cone off and then I can be happy again. So when she had the cone on, she was less aggressive. She couldn't, like, physically jump anywhere because the cone was on her, uh, and, you know, it gets in the way of her jumping. And it was, it was probably the best week we've had is her not jumping on stuff and her not, like, biting us because she can't because she's the freaking cone on her head. The cone came off. Within two days, she was back to her usual antics. And, uh, it was too much. But, maybe, when we, if we move back to, like, the Midwest, where it's cooler out, and it's a new environment, maybe a bigger place, she'll have more room to run around and do stuff. And we won't be, like, because we can't really get a third cat. Our apartment has a limit of only two pets per apartment. So, getting another pet, if they found out that we had it, we could get evicted. Uh, but if we can get a third cat when we move out, maybe that could solve a little bit of the issue. I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm spitballing here. I just don't want to be stuck in this limbo of, like, I'm half cat sitter, half, you know, content creator now. Because both of those jobs take up a, quite a bit of time. Might as well. Got no other trinket to tell a tale right now, so that's fine. Both of the, these jobs take a while to get done. I'm in the process of editing... I think it's like three separate videos right now. I'm editing down a, uh, excuse me, a stream highlight from yesterday for me. Um, I'm editing down the world record history of Indiana Jones video, and I'm currently working on a, a Lego Batman minimum studs run. So I'm, I'm between three videos. I'm recording stuff for Let's Play channel, and about every like 10 minutes, it's, it's you know, take a... 20 minute break to watch Zimmy. You can see where the, the issue, it's like that whole, that's, that's that one drill tweet that's like, help me budget. 50 bucks, food. 40 bucks, gas. $1,500, candles. 30 bucks, clothes. What am I doing wrong? It's like, 10 minutes, editing. You know, 30 minutes, record a video. Two hours, play with Zimmy. What am I doing wrong? It, it, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> and again, I'm, I'm in a fortunate place where I can be with the cats all day and they can get, you know, play to enrich them and I can always be around to help them and stuff. And that's very nice. It's good for cats to have somebody at home with them. It is. It really is. And I'm glad I can be here. But some days I wish I worked a regular job so I could just have a break from them. Because even when Desi's home from work, I'm usually the one still watching the cats because she's taking a break as she works a lot. So, like, I don't really get a break from these cats. And at night, all they want to do is sleep right next to me, which is great because it's, it's nice and they're, they purr and it's nice. You can fall asleep easier. But occasionally, they'll want to sleep on top of me or they'll sleep, like, on both sides of my legs so I can't move or, or turn over at night. And I'm a very rough sleeper. I Oh, my God. I hate the desync. Please stop. I'm a very rough sleeper. Like, I... I wake up like three or four times every night and I'm always shifting around and getting in weird positions to sleep better. So, oh, I, this is really good for our money equals power. Pretty much fighting a damage up in your shop. Oh my God, these tears are not, they're relentless right now, man. Uh, I'll give that to you and we'll get some more money for your damage. But 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I don't get a break from the cats. And when they're sleeping next to me, it can be uncomfortable and... Or they'll fight at night. Or Zimmy's new favorite habit, by the way, to make this even worse on her. Her new favorite thing is um, whenever we're sleeping and we're not playing with her, what she'll try and do... Oh, yes. Yes. Good enough for me, brother. What she'll, uh, she'll try and do is through the blanket, because she likes to go under the blanket and swipe at our feet and bite our feet. So we'll tuck the blanket beneath our feet. But then, when she can't get to them, she'll start biting through and clawing through the blanket, tearing up our pretty expensive comforter we have, by the way. Pretty expensive goddamn comforter. We'll start tearing at her to try and get to our feet. This morning, I had to get up at 1 a.m. What do I do? I'm, I'm so mad. We lost our black card because of that. Uh, I had to wake up at 1 a.m. to get the spray bottle because she wouldn't leave my feet alone. It's like you guys sometimes. Oh, okay. Let's just fight the boss, dude. It's the Fallen. Yeah, so we're going to make boss rush timer. <laughs> that was the most scuffed dodge of all time. Beautiful. That was a great hit. Uh, okay. Trash item. Worst item we could have got, probably. We'll give that to Soy Milk Man, I guess. I don't know. Probably should have gone to the other guy for the damage, but I don't really care at all right now. I just want to make it to Boss Rush and be fine. But I had to grab the spray bottle to scare her away so I could sleep longer. It's, it's, it's rough. And I know getting a kitty, you're supposed to expect it to be rough, but I, I was not prepared for this level of it. I've never heard of, like, cats being this bad. And to be to be fair, I haven't done, like, you know, a bunch of, all oh, like, cat research. You know, I, I just got a cat because beauty was so good. I figured, well, Zimmy might be tough for a while because she's a kitten. Either way, like, potty trainer, and that was pretty much it. I don't think it'd be like, you know, this cat has mommy issues. So now she has anger issues, and she attacks everything in sight. I was prepared to potty train a cat. Not not give it therapy, I guess, is... is my my logic there but then again uh, i guess uh i should have uh, kept more of an eager eye out for for cat tips desi should have known she she's the cat expert around here huge huge give me empress and now we'll go to our item room and get leech all right well we got two ways to heal red heart damage but uh not a lot of ways to deal damage to bosses. The Empress card and the Strength card should carry us through boss rush pretty easily. And if it doesn't, well, I'll eat my words. Why did I go down there? I don't know, but it worked out, so don't question my decision making. I should have done more research, but at the same time, getting Zimmy was like, it came out of nowhere. One day we had her, or one day we didn't have her, next day we just had her. Because uh, the whole, as the story goes, Desi has someone that does her, her nails for her. And, um, that person had posted on their, like, Instagram story, oh, another one, hello, like, hey, there's a cat hanging around my house, and I'm allergic, so I can't take it in, and I have dogs and stuff, but we're trying to find a home for her, and this is the same time as we're dog-sitting for a week for one of our neighbors, or someone who's, like, lives, like, five, ten minutes away, uh, so it's not a long distance, but we're away from home, and before even, like, asking me if it was okay desi told the lady she can go pick up the cat and bring it home and uh i get a text from desi and she's like hey so uh you don't mind if we get another cat right and i was like well right now we were watching a dog right now and we're not even, we're not even home with beauty like we're away from home from beauty this is not a good time to get one but she had uh, already picked up zimmy so then zimmy came home and that was it we Kept her in the bedroom for about two months when she first got here to give Beauty some time to, like, you know, meet her and stuff. But then, after that, it was pretty much doors open unless they were fighting. We had to put the doors closed at one point again because Zimmy was too crazy. But, uh, now we can't even put her in the bedroom alone because she'll she'll tear up the carpet in protest. So there, there's, like, every option you can think of to mediate these issues. Like, we've probably already done tenfold and it's never worked for us. So, I think this is just my life now. I, I think watching this cat is just... That's my existence. And you know what, dude? One day when I get a regular job in the future, in like a couple years, uh, and I'm not at home always, I'll appreciate these, especially Zimmy, a lot more, I think. Uh, but for the time being, 
I'll just, I'll suck it up and I'll, I'll deal with it. The number one sleep issue I used to have was just like waking up just for no reason. Now it's waking up because I have a reason and it's Zimmy. Zimmy is always that reason. We are doing a lot of damage. Okay, I didn't even see that foot. Okay, hold on. Range goes to you. Uh, we can put a bomb. I was the wrong guy to put that on, but whatever. Put a bomb there. I'm gonna go in here. Why wouldn't it be Krampus? Thank God he died easy. We'll do this, we'll do this, and we'll walk out, and it's into boss rush we go. We can actually take two items here. Tough love is definitely one you want to have on uh, Jacob. And I guess we can go blood bombs for the HP. Magician. Okay. Pop that now. Drop. I want to switch the cards around here. I want you to have Empress. No, you get Empress. You get Strength. You can have this. And I'll take this back. And I'll put a bomb right here. And we'll position, because you have a higher luck stat, so we'll go like, I want to do this. Let's first do that. Oh, we got to put you down here first. My brain is backwards. We'll put you right next to the pedestal. We need to move in the same direction to get it, though. You know what? Let's not fuck with this. Let's just grab an item, huh? How's that sound? I want to sink back up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. We should crush boss rush here. We have strength. We have empress. We have homing shots for the laser to get like, any kind of excess enemies laying around. It's nice. And we can also use our right bumper when enemies spawn in. To get some nice brimstone shots off. You know what? This should be not that bad. One of our final... Uh, character unlocks here. If we get the shoal teleportation as these characters too, that will be all of our current character marks we can get done. Then it's time just to grind out runs for more like arbitrary unlocks and give more money to our, our shops and all that kind of stuff. And then Bob's your freaking uncle there. Give me a mod for Isaac that puts Zimmy in the game. And it's like guppy, but instead of it spawning flies that help you, it spawns flies that hurt you. That was, that's the kind of mod I wanted to see for Isaac. It's the Zimmy transformation. Replaces Guppy with an uh, immediately worse version of Guppy that just makes you want to die. And also, you can no longer sleep in bedrooms <laughs> if you get the transformation there. That That's the uh, that's the new idea. I'd that be a killer mod. And they give one for Beauty as well, but Beauty's is just like... If you get the Zimmy and Beauty thing at the same time, you spawn on a second player who just runs away from you constantly. Because it's, it's Beauty being scared of Zimmy. No, no, you know what? Someone retexture Blood Puppy as Zimmy. That, that's a way better idea. Bluppy Zimmy would, would kill. Yeah, I don't want to even think about having the full card on my person right now. That is how you die in this boss rush. A Bluppy as Zimmy, and then, like, uh... There's another... Leech, Leech is, is beauty. Because, like, they're the only two Slug-type followers, I feel like. Or Guppy's head is, like, beauty's head. I don't know. I'll figure it out one of these days. Goodbye, Fallen. Oh, you were doing Brimstone. I didn't even notice, man. Didn't even notice. That was a good Brimstone to have right there, though, thanks to Krampus's head. Dodge the size, and you are... You are invisible to me. That's my fault. I should have been paying uh, a bit more attention. Here's the good news. Getting Boss Rush done as J&E this early into a file? That's real nice. Was that always there? Am I just blind? That might have always been there. Oh my god, thank you. My voice is going, I pop. I've been recording way too much recently, trying to get this backlog done, so my voice is like, it's really gone right now. I streamed for like four hours yesterday, uh, and recorded Inscription as well, so it, it has been a, <clears throat> a long couple of days for recording content. Probably the final video I'll make for today is this one. I'll do Ravita tomorrow for, for Rewind Week. I don't want to put too much strain on this beautiful... All right, cool. Is that a Gimpy drop? I th we don't have Gimpy. What am I talking about? You just dropped a Soul Hard normally. Hey, sync up, please. Good. How are you still alive? How did that man live? 
Two of diamonds. Yeah, that's a point plus two damage for us right now. Until uh, we lose our, our current strength bonus. That's really good. If we can maybe find a donation machine in like a vault room and give some money back to our shop here this run. Or maybe get a card that brings us out of this room and we can go back to our shop here and give some money for some unlocks. That would be quite nice. I gotta remember that the priority here is not to have a lot of damage. It's to get more unlocks so we don't get like soft locked for a bit. Huge Krampus's head right there. Thanks. Missed my visual or my, my audio cue for that one, huh? Samson's lock. Okay. Uh, sure. Is there any way we can leave? Get some quarters. Nah, we'll, we'll just leave. It's not vital that we, we get some money to the machine right now. It's not incredibly uh, vital. Great. My favorite room as the, the two stooges here. Okay, good and good. Play that a little bit loose. Hoping for an emperor card, not empress. But we still made it out of there alive. What's our Devil Deal chance? If we cannot get one this floor, that'd be very good. We'll have a 67% chance to get one next floor, and that should be nearly guaranteed for going down to, uh, to Shoal. If not, it'll have to be a, another Jacob and Esau run to make it to Shoal before we are out of easy character unlocks. Boss Rush, though, being done as every character, including, I think, Keeper so far, that's really good. It does not happen every once in a while. Uh, or it does happen only rarely every once in a while. Keeper and Jacob and Esau are two of the harder ones to get it done with uh, on the vanilla side of characters. You know, things might change when we get down to the uh, the tainted guys, but for as, as it is right now... Um, it's really difficult to get boss rush done as these two jokers because they take forever to get like a a powerful enough run. Stars and Empress. Okay, sure. Uh, it takes a while to get a powerful run done. We can do this. Yeah. Poop is a rock. Okay. Give me a good item. It's a heart, not an item. It's a bomb, not an item. Alright. I mean, again. Could have been worse. Could have been better. I do want to get whatever... There must be an achievement for, like, paying out a beggar a hundred times or something like that. So, if not, we're still, I think, making minor progress towards a... Uh, towards an unlock with those guys. I think blowing them up might also be an unlock, too. So... Whenever you got the money or the bombs to give them some love or some hate, just send it their way. They're not going to care too much. What are you? World card. Yes, I will swap the, the stars for your world card there. So next floor should go by a bit faster. Okay, dead end. How about this way, though? How about this way? This can't be a dead end. It's, it's the last path we got to go to. This can't be a dead end. If it is, I'm going to scream. No R key, please. I'm not going to take it if it's R key. Thank you. Uh, you take that, and then we'll keep going. I'm scared. I don't want to do another Jacob and Esau run if we don't get this shoal unlock. I want to put that off for as long as possible here. And once the run is over, too, we'll go check, and we'll see if we have um, how many mom's heart kills we have. Because we may have, if we don't unlock it, lives on this run. I don't know how much more we'll have to do. I should also get bombs for that. Um, so I can maybe try to force an Emperor card. Give me a bomb. It's our last room. All right, no bomb. That's fine. Leave it alone. Oh, Conquest. Hey, buddy. That was a good brimstone. Oh, I can't hit the copies. That's right. Forgot about that. Used to be able to. Or at least it would show a visual thing for you hitting them. But now it's... Okay. It's new. Nice. I don't want flight on any of my characters. We got the devil deal here. Not really what I wanted to see. We gotta pray for that 33% chance next. Oh wait, I can use this. Hold on. 
this work? This does not work. Never mind. I cannot use this. Uh, get the pony back. I don't want it. And potentially final floor. Hopefully we get another floor after this. Or we can go to like a cursed room. Hey, we get a vault room. Donation machine? Oh. Sure. Take some PJs. Alright, pop that. We do have a cursed room. So that could be a devil deal that way. If we miss the 33. Which... We obviously could still hit it. I'm not saying it's a... Goes through rocks. Don't don't forget that. The red tears, for some reason, they go through rocks. That is a... I wouldn't say it's a new thing. It might be an old thing, but... All right. Playing like trash because I'm tilted. We got a devil deal last floor. What's happening? I thought I put a bomb down and I was stuck. Nope. Let's just go... I, we'll, we'll give the cursed room a shot once we fight our boss, but... I just want this run to end. I do not like these characters. Another Empress? Okay. We can save those for the, the shoal floor. Oh, brother. Do I want to get a charge off before I go fight? Ah, it's not worth it. You don't need to have... We have a, a laser. We should be fine. Alright, let's just go fight. Yeah, it's not it lives yet. I wonder if it lives itself as like a different achievement. Okay. Did not get it. All right. Let's, uh, I can't fast travel. There we go. I guess we go to our curse room and our secret room. And if uh, there's no show, then I guess next run's going to be another Jacob Medisa run after we do our token greed mode run. Nope. Okay, well... Disappointed. Very disappointed. I guess that's the run. What do we unlock here? Anything? Ice Cube and Demo Man. Well, we we got something. How many Mom's Heart kills do we have? Only nine Mom kills. I guess we've been doing a lot of greed mode runs. Bestiary? Let's see. Probably in the bosses category, huh? I don't know what half these things are. Okay, it shouldn't be... Look for the heart, boys. There it is. We've killed it 12 times. And I... Oh, I guess this was, this was greed mode, huh? So we've killed Mom's heart 12 times. We've had 10 encounters with it. I don't know how that checks out. Is this counting challenges, maybe? This might be counting challenges now that I think about it. Either way, I guess we have to go for challenges and, uh... Shoal. We can start going Cathedral if we want to go Angel Deals instead, but... That's it for today. If you enjoyed the run of my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out, and goodbye.